Welcome back to Let's Play Faunasphere. Today Let's Play is headed back to the Searing Mesa and we'll look at that goal that we can't finish until we've gone to the Dune Tract. In the Dune Tract we must find clay tablets. Five of them. So let's take a quick little flip over and look at the goal. It says, if only there was a surf trick chip. That way we can unlock a new world. So that gate is locked and we need to go to the Dune Tract. Now my dear viewers, you will find that this is a very difficult goal to get if you actually have to dig for all of those clay tablets. So I'm going to save you a lot of pain and agony and I am editing out about two hours of video while I do nothing but run around in there and dig. If we go straight up to the left, there's a little path here, and we'll wait for purple to catch up with us. And we want to make sure we take the goal before we get started digging. And yet, no chisels. She says, these must be older than the forested areas. There were flyers in the forest amphitheater. Here there are clay tablets. So, we'll edit out hours of digging and we'll start digging around. I really want to find at least one to show you what it looks like when you actually dig one up. When this goal first came out, it wasn't extremely difficult to get all five within an hour or two span, but now how many have I found? None. So we'll just keep looking. The developers actually did figure out that this was an extremely difficult goal to accomplish and they've put a couple stores here in the dune track. It just became so popular because the other goal is polluted sand. And people come here because if you can find polluted sand you can get lots of points. Here's one little store. They sell pavers. That also draws people in, I suppose. And there's another store up near the top, which will actually sell clay tablets to us. But we really want to get one before we have to go buy the rest of them. And guess what? Yeah! <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And of course I can't type when I'm that excited. And who knows what I really was thinking I was typing there. But she saw it. And she could tell I was a little bit excited. Oh, man. wonder if I can get any more. Save ourselves some lux having to buy them. Uh, no, probably back to at least another two-hour search. And we've been very lucky. There isn't anybody else in here tonight. So we've kind of had the place to dig and zap all we want. So I'm headed up to the top where they put a nice store so that we can get this goal without having to spend a lot of time. And we want to make sure that we only buy as many as we need because they aren't good for anything else. But remember we need this one so that we can get that other gate open. We have one clay tablet, hard earned. So we will buy four more. Four clay tablets, 20,000 lux. Buy it. Oh, you got five? They're pretty hard to find. I thought asking for five would give me more time. I've already got so many. But, as it turns out, it would have taken a lot of time. Now, we got a rock, but that wasn't the main thing that we wanted. We wanted to get that gate open. So let's flip back to the Searing Mesa, and we will zoom over to the goal station because we just want to get that gate open. Oh, let's play. I know the roots are tempting. Let's 
stay on track here. Back up to the goal station. And now the goal is available because we have the clay tablets. If only there was a surf trick chip. And the clay tablets, Amelia is certainly willing to take them off our hands. They're ads for a tropical paradise getaway called Fishatish Island. You can get there across a sandbar. And the gate for this is just down from the goal. So let's go check it out. There it is, sandbar. We didn't need a key or anything. It just automatically opened up. Now this is one of those bridge pieces of property. And that means all the things that use your special abilities will produce amber. Ta-da! So we're going to run across this because any place that has amber has horrible violets that try and zap our energy. And we'll hop into Fishatish Islands Gate. And here we are, a new world. Now the special ability things like the trees won't produce amber here because this is technically another hub world. So let's just take a quick peek around. It has a canopy, as do all the hub worlds. Let's see what they've got in here. Oh, they've got some sand clumps, sand blocks. Ooh, a pretty beach block. And the raffle prizes look very island oriented. So we'll save looking around here for another time. Let's pop back to our sphere. Eek! Oh look, pollution. Pollution in our very own sphere. This is not good. This is not right. We will zap it and we get lux and sometimes world blocks for it. The more things you have put out in your sphere, the more likely you are to find pollution. Oh, you'll have to excuse me, I need to lay a couple eggs. Oh, I'm feeling better already. So, join us again next time on Let's Play Fauna Sphere. And remember, when you go to other people's spheres, if you see pollution, they may or may not like you zapping it for them. So check their totem and see if they have a message saying, feel free to zap or please don't zap. A lot of people like to level up their own little babies in their own sphere. So please be polite in other people's spheres. You have a good day and we'll see you again next time on Let's Play Faunasphere.